Yeah, I know. Say it again. It's official. And I'm kicking my feet up. Why does it seem like there's a lot of people who are a little worried right now? I'm not worried. Why should you be worried? If you stand strongly behind your fighter, stand strongly behind your fighter and show that you are the motherfucking man. Now, this is for all the marbles. Okay, we're not. See, that's what I'm saying. You can tell the difference between a, a true fan and then those of a nature of a. Pat Tart and the Flomo. Pat Tart and Flomos are just people who don't like somebody because they are emotionally attached to someone else. You know? All you know is that Floyd's undefeated. People, <laughs> some Pat Tars think that Pacquiao's undefeated. Aren't they both undefeated? You'll hear that out there if you really, <laughs> if, you, um, if you're out there talking to some people, you'll end up hearing that bullshit. But anyway, this is for all the marbles. HBO is putting their number one guy to the test. Showtime is putting their number one guy to the test. We don't have to really go back into detail. If you want to, you could say Bob Am had Floyd underneath him at one point. That's right. Bob Am used to get a cut from Floyd Mayweather back in the day. Floyd Mayweather had a big... Big deal coming from HBO after the Corrales fight. And um, I think it was like $14 million or something like that. They offered Broner the same thing. And I think Floyd ended up, I didn't think, but Floyd ended up turning down the $14 million. Because Floyd knew he was worth so much more. So there's like, a you know, Showtime always has beef with HBO. Which one's better? You got your Sopranos in the Wire, which reigned supreme. <laughs> Compared to your Dexter, House of Lies, um, Game of or, nope, Game of Thrones is over on HBO, I believe. Um, I know I'm missing some crazy ones for Showtime. Homeland, Boardwalk Empire, I believe is HBO. You know these dudes go back and forth like crazy. They got you know you niggas know what it is, so. Showtime putting up their number one guy. HBO might have a little grudge against Floyd. They've been talking bad about him ever since he left HBO. You know? Let's keep it 100, man. It's crazy. Um, Oscar is really just sitting on the outside. I thought that Bob Aaron wasn't going to get any play from this fight. But I'll be, you know, I'll be damned. Bob will be damned. <laughs> If he ends up missing out again on the highest fight of all time. He wants to be a part of that. And I think that ended up hitting him. But he's putting all his marbles into Duke. He probably thinks, man, he's at his best right now. Just coming off of his, you know. Just coming off, just coming off of his spectacular win. Call it what it is. Because the casual fan won't know the difference. So you go ahead and tell him right away, well, hey, <laughs> Pacquiao beat the shit out of his last opponent. Floyd hasn't lost. You know how Floyd get down. It's going to be an extravaganza. And I just feel like somebody going to be looking bad afterwards. <laughs> There's so much riding behind these two fighters that you got two networks that are putting all their marbles on the line, whether they like it or not. You know, not saying I'm going to just watch, you know, <laughs> Showtime once Floyd went. You know what I mean? I'm going to just watch this guy once this guy went. No, nah, it ain't like that. But what I am saying is just the fact that I love seeing, oh, my goodness. How they just going to play me like that? See what I'm saying? They just going <laughs> to. I love seeing undefeated fighters. I love seeing go one-on-one. -on -one. I love seeing um, a dead-even matchup, you know. And when it comes to HBO and Showtime, HBO, honestly, if I had to pick out of those shits, number one of all time is The Wire, you know. People would probably say number one of all time would be um, The Sopranos. Both of those are HBO, you know. So can I knock them? No. But in the same sense... If you haven't seen the first episode of Dexter, go to PirateBay.com. <laughs>
Type in Dexter season one. Go through Google and find it. To download, you press on the shit. Make sure it's AVI if you want to download it to your phone. You don't want, it'll say um, download all over the place. It'll say um, download now in green on the left toward the bottom. Go a little bit further down than that. There's another one. There's two downloads. It'll say a download now. Then it'll show you a description of the flick. And then at the bottom, there'll be another download to the left in green. You want to click on that one. And then it'll download to your phone. Make sure you download uTorrent first. And um, you should be set to go. But all I'm saying is, <laughs> or go to Netflix. <laughs> and... Um, Download the first episode of Dexter. I'm curious like that sometime. I want to, you know, I'll give a, a movie a shot. And I got to be honest, I, I, I really, I gave up on Game of Thrones, y'all. I know, I know. I was wondering what's coming out the bushes and shit. And, um, you know what I mean? And, um, and she, there was a fucking monster or some shit that came out the bushes. And then I was like, oh, ain't that some shit? I just, like, you know, this shit ain't... It ain't bumping nowhere near no Dexter or no... You see what I mean? I really went ham when it came to... Excuse me, when it came to my niggas. But, um... When it was... <laughs> I went ham when it came to Dexter and it came to The Wire and it came to Sopranos. You know, these 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 shows are no joke. Watch them in order. Netflix should have at least uh, Dexter. Go watch Dexter Season 1. Episode one. Watch the first episode. And remember, when I tell you to watch movies, don't be getting interrupted. Tell your girl to back up. You know what I mean? Don't even, like, real talk, man. Be left alone when you watch this episode. The first one. Always give the first one a chance. And then I guarantee you, you will be hooked to Dexter. And that's showtime. So, you know. All the marbles are on the line. That's what I'm saying. It's Showtime. If you want to put HBO first, Showtime is not far behind. That's what I'm saying. So, um, I, hey, put Floyd and Manny aside right now. These guys alone. Bob Ham. Floyd is putting up himself, you know. Floyd is a promoter that promotes himself. So, it's sort of like, you know, Bob Ham promotes Manny. Floyd promotes Floyd. You see what I mean? Whatever. Um... Both guys are putting their promoters on the, both promoters are on the line. Floyd's entire, you know, every time Floyd fights, his entire state is on the fucking line. Are you kidding me? But, um, there's, there's a lot on the line besides just you bum ass YTB seers <laughs> by just flomos and pectars all day long, you know. One guy said he was proud to be a pack tart. Like, you're, you're proud to be a retard? Chill, homie. Get off my fucking channel. <laughs> Seriously, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I said it. And I'm proud to be a pack tart. Like, nigga, you wildin'. But anyway, that's how you feel. You putting everything on the line. I'm willing to, You know what it is. One of my niggas left a comment in my jump off. Shout outs. Um... Said, uh, what he said? He said, I'm going up to everybody that just look Asian or some shit. And I'm just like, yo, bet. And they know what I'm talking about. Real talk. Bet $100. I bet anything you want, Floyd is going to kill this boy. Don't be surprised if men get knocked out. Yeah, I said it. It's official. No point in running now. Where are all the videos that say Manny's going to win? Tell me how Manny's going to win this fight. Just tell. You know who has the best one? You know what? Yo, y'all. Um, go check out um, Eric Bradley. Make sure you type it all in caps. He has like a brownish. Um, he has like a brownish. Um, like emblem on his um, MB boxing. Okay. He breaks it down to say earlier. It's a it's an older video. About who, about why he thinks Manny's gonna win, and he tells you the difference between being fast and being um quick. Yo, it's a ill video, and if that nigga can come out with another, you know, that nigga, go check it out, man. It's illmatic. It's Manny verse round for round, round for round, and um he does a spectacular event. He just did a new one, a new segment, did round for round, but go look for the older ones. And you'll see, he picks Manny to win, and he's a boxer himself, you know. Um, 
He always talks in his boxing gym, I think, or, you know, you got to go check this dude out. Eric Bradley, type it all in caps, phenomenal news, probably better information than a lot of a majority of dudes out. I swear to you, if it was one through 10, he'd probably be four or five on the list. I shit you not. Go check out his stuff, man. He know what he's talking about, man. Um, other than that, put your marbles up. I hope everybody's ecstatic for this shit. Mayweather versus Pacquiao is official. There's more on the line than what meets the eye. Let's get it, man. I'm out this bitch.